Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well today. In this video, we're going to be going over everything you need to know for the Therizane Reputation Guide. Now, this reputation is a nightmare. You can lose a quest just somewhere in the corner of the map and not pick it up till later. It can be a nightmare. So I've gone through today, gone through all of the quests, which ones you need to do, which ones you don't. So hopefully this works. So as you get into deep home which is where this quest line is going to start you're going to have a couple of introductory quests and then you're going to walk into the temple and be greeted by three npcs you're going to pick up where's gold mine the earth claims all gunship down and elemental energy they're the four quests you need to pick up i believe there is one or two others there as well but you can just ignore them for now so we're going to go down the where's gold mine route first this takes you to Initiate Goldmine, who gives you further quests you need to complete. Complete all of these until you head back to the temple with Flint or Mantle as part of an escort. Once you've completed this, you'll receive the quest to Stone Hearth Aid. Now, this is kind of the main quest hub and the starting point for this quest line. What we want to do is get two pillars of, or two fragments of the World Pillar that will allow us to unlock Therizane. So going to Stone Hearth, you'll go down to Quaking Fields and complete a couple of quests. And then you'll do the one with the ground ritual, which will take you underground, run you halfway across the map. And once you come back, you'll defend Stone Hearth. Then you'll go to the Fractured Front, onto the offensive, and keep following all of these quests until you hit Needle Rock Slag. And then once you've hit Needle Rock Slag, go to Needle Rock Chasm. Again, following the quests all the way, you'll get like two or three quests at a time, go and complete them, hand them all back, and you'll probably move to the next area. Need a rock uh, chasm onwards till you get the quest, the hero returns. Now, you'll have just defeated a trog, big trog. You'll present yourself back at Stone Hearth, and then you will get the first fragment of the world pillar. This is the middle one. I'm um, obviously halfway towards unlocking your Therizane. For reference, this one quest chain was around 35 quests long. Now, secondly, then, you have the Earth Claims All, Gunship Down, Elemental Energy quests. Go and complete all of those, and you may as well grab the Captain's Log that's there as well. These quests unlock diploma, uh, dipl Diplomacy first, and this quest line will ultimately get you the second pillar. Do the Ghost Totem quest, then hand it in, and you will get Take No Prisoners, and on second thought, take one prisoner. The captain's quest seems irrelevant, so if you're speeding through this and just trying to be efficient, don't worry about it. Once back at the Temple of Earth, grab Deathwing's Fall and Blood of the Earth Warder. Complete all of the quests at Deathwing's Fall, there should be about four or five. Um, the Blood, saving the miners, getting the orders, until it takes you to Silvermarsh. Now, very, very important. At Silvermarsh, you're going to have to go and get a box and go into a cutscene, basically. You do want to kill some oozes here to get Maziel's research quest drop and then complete the quest that it gives you after that, which is basically go and get some more research off more oozes. Uh, at this point, I was actually left with no quests. Now, I don't, I believe this is more of a this server thing than what should happen, but you want to go and farm, uh, find Stormcaller Myra at Twilight Overlook. And you will get two quests to catch a dragon and big game, big bait. You do one or two more quests for her, and then you will kill Abyssian. Fly back to the temple, and you'll be given the very earth beneath our feet, which is the first quest in the quest chain to unlock Therizane. At this point, I had 64 quests completed in Deep Home. So, this will be this is your prereq. I mean, I've only gone through it. It's taken three, four minutes. It took me about two hours in total. I was level 85. I have some good gear. It's going to take you a little while to do this quest chain, which is why I recommend doing it as you're leveling. Because you have to unlock Earthen Ring anyway for gear and things like that. You may as well do it at the same time. All in all, this quest line, I mean, at 85, it gave me nearly 5k gold as well, which is very, very nice. Once you've completed these two, you've gone and handed in uh, everything. You've got the very, uh, very earth beneath our feet. You'll go down, complete this quest, and you'll get like two or three other quests, and then you'll get Imposing Confrontation. This is your attempt to break peace with Therizane. Keep following this quest line, and quests will begin to give you really, really large amounts of rep with Therizane. Once you hit Friendly, you can go and talk to the Quartermaster. So if you don't want to do anything else, once you hit Friendly, you can go and talk to the Quartermaster at Therizane's Throne, and you'll be able to get the Reputation Tabard, which you'll be able to farm dungeons with and just get rep that way.
If you complete all of the quests, you should get somewhere between high honored and low revered, depending on like human, reputation buffs, things like that. Certainly high enough to get the tabard, and the dailies will take you the rest of the way. So I really hope this helps. I know this quest line is an absolute nightmare. So hoping this guide helps. I will write a written guide in the description as well. Um, I'm pretty much going to copy and paste my notes, to be quite honest with you. But go down into the description, and that will all be there as well. And, yeah, I really hope this helped, guys. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.